<laughs> Epic fail. Check this out, guys. So new binders. Oh yeah. <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna do. Yo. Guess what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Yo. What's up, everybody? So check this out. I got me a whole box of binders. Oh yeah. This is what I use, BCW, with the baseball stitch. And uh, I'm gonna create my, my Dodger theme finally. I finally got a hold of a bulk, which is a 12 pack, a whole box. And uh, what I'll be doing is uh, kind of like my Hall of Fame. I'll be doing one that says Dodgers. Uh, what I'll be doing is putting over here, my Dodger binders. And then my Bowmans are gonna go down here. And then these are gonna get screwed over here. And then these are gonna go over here. And then these are gonna go over here. That's what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm pretty excited for that because I'm bored as hell at home. And um, this is going to be recorded in a couple of parts only because I am missing a, a key element on my spine because I'm using stickers. And um, I just got to wait for the mail, <laughs> for them to ship it in the mail. So this is going to be like pretty much a two-part video all bunched up in one. I'm going to show you guys progress through progress through progress. So let's take a look. All right, guys, check this out. This is what I bought for the binders, which is pretty cool. Check this out. Bam. Pretty badass, huh? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to end up cutting these one by one, one by one, one by one. And then each part is going to go into a binder. Um, the ball might be a little off-centered only because uh, the binder neck is not that tall. So I'm going to have to readjust this little ball part. But that's going to be the last thing I do. I'm just going to focus on the lettering. I do have another sheet coming because this D's a little too big. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. So I have another one of these coming with a smaller D. <laughs> a baby D, a micro D, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I have another decal coming. It's not here yet, but I'm just going to focus on the lettering first. So I'm going to cut each one of these. Each one of these is going to have its own binder. I also got this. So check this out. This is pretty cool. These little logos. So, originally I started off with this one, however, this one was just way too big. And then um, when I got this one, I got this one the same day in the mail, and then I figured out, like, yeah, that's going to look a little too weird, you know, oversized, little size. So, out with that one, I bought me another one, a smaller size, and these are just perfect for each other. So, it's going to go something like this. Binder, 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 binder. A total of nine binders. And um, this is going to look pretty badass once I adjust it. The ball might look a little bit more this way. But um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to stencil it in. I'm not going to paint it or mark it and all that. I'm just going to use a straight out sticker. And it's going to look pretty bitchy. So let's see how that works. All right, guys. This is my first update. What I did was my Bowmans, I threw them down there. So it's gonna be Bowmans, it's gonna be my tops, 60s, 70s, and then these are gonna get screwed over, over there. But I'm just gonna leave them there as is for now. Um, I'm gonna eventually move these over here for now so it's easier for me to work on the new binders over here. So first update, I'll keep you guys posted. All right guys, this is just a template, a sample shot. But it's gonna look something similar to that. I'm still gonna mess around with this ball and see where I can put it, where it doesn't look kind of dumb. <laughs> but it's pretty much what the final product is gonna look like. Um, I'm still gonna mess around with them, adjust them, try to make it the best I can. Um, again, um, this D right here is just oversized, so I'm gonna get a smaller one. But it's pretty much, these are pretty much what it's gonna look like. So quick little recap, be right back. All right, guys, quick little update. Um, this is what it looks like so far. <laughs> Not the best looking thing, but hey, it looks pretty cool to me. Really like this like sticker stuff. It's really cool. And uh, it was pretty hard putting this ball on actually <laughs> and getting these lines kind of straight because I had to do these all by, by themselves. And I kind of messed up right here on the G, the D and the G. It kind of goes like a little rainbow, but <laughs> whatever. Works for me, that's all that matters. And I think I'm going to switch the LA on that side and then the Brooklyn on to that side only because that's the sample D and it doesn't look good next to the B. This looks a little weird. So I think I'm going to switch them 
see how that looks real quick yeah that looks a lot better i think i'm gonna keep it that way looks a lot better it doesn't distract the d you got the la logo and then the s is far different than the b logo for the brooklyn so i'm pretty much all set just have to wait for my template to come in i gotta decide what baseball cards i want to put here what dodger cards so i gotta pick nine of my favorites so what i'm gonna do is for the la i'm gonna put the tommy lasorda of course as a coach best coach ever and then for the brooklyn i'm gonna put the walter austin coach second best coach ever <laughs> and then one of these is gonna be most likely a kershaw another one most likely a mike piazza but this is what it looks like so far <laughs> little kid status but i like it it's looking good be right back all right guys another update check this out finally added some players to my binders starting off with walter austin for brooklyn we have Tommy Lasorda for LA, and then this is pretty much A through S. Starting off with Kershaw right here, we got Duke Snyder, Fernando, Jackie Robinson, Justin Turner, Mike Piazza, and Tandy Colfax. Now some of the reasons why I put these players here only is because I wanted to put two managers, one from Brooklyn and then one from LA. I had to add my favorite pitcher, and then my favorite vintage pitcher, can't have a binder without Jackie for sure and you can't have a binder without Duke and I wanted to add a modern player so I put Justin Turner and I um Justin Turner is a badass you know Cody Ballinger is still a rookie and um he still has to lay some ground but Justin Turner different story playoff material he's a beast he's a badass so he's my modern player my favorite player growing up Piazza Valenzuela so those are the reasons why I put I chose those players, but check this out, man. It looks pretty, it looks pretty freaking sick. I like it. Just gotta wait for the D to come in. So I'll do another binder update once that comes in, whenever that does. So be right back. All right, guys, screw it. Check this out. I ended up putting the one that I thought it was oversized, and I guess it wasn't too bad. Look at that. Made it work. My problem was when you would open the binder, it, it would bend the sticker, but I guess it doesn't... I don't know. It looks like it, it'll be fine. So, don't need to wait no more. I'm officially done with this binder set. I'm officially done with my Dodger set. So, what I'll be doing is... in putting this over here and then switching back this one over here so it'll be the Dodgers and then the Hall of Fame and the Bowman 50s and Toss 50s, 60s, 70s and then um, this is going to eventually have my rookies so something you do during quarantine <laughs> and uh, this was pretty fun man, <laughs> check that out pretty fun, pretty fun hope you guys all enjoyed this for a quick little update, collection update binder update. I'll see you guys all later. Toodles!